In some pretty unusual news, General Motors has now informed owners of the Bolt and the Bolt EUV who thought they were getting their batteries replaced that actually, no, you won't be or probably won't, might, but we're not sure yet until we actually do some checks on your car. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. With that news, I hope you've had an amazing day and I hope you don't own a Chevy Bolt or a Bolt EUV because otherwise you'd be a little bit miffed and surprised and disappointed and I don't know what you'd be feeling right now, but um, yeah, it wouldn't be all that good, I don't think. Of course, there's been a lot of money invested by General Motors and LG Chem, who now call themselves LG Energy Solutions, to fix the problems in these battery packs. Now, GM has paid half the price, LG Chem has paid the other half of the price. I think that's ridiculous. I think LG Chem should have paid all of it, considering as most of the world's battery recalls, whether they're General Motors or not, seem to have one common denominator. They're made by LG Energy Solutions. Seriously, look it up. It's not that hard to find. Yes, most of the recalls we've seen worldwide over the past five years for electric car batteries have been manufactured by LG Chem and LG Energy Solutions. What I find really strange about this is that the fact that they're about 80% of the world's recalls, the media never mentions any of this ever. It's like, imagine if there was like all these different types of engines being made by different manufacturers, but one of them just kept breaking. Let's say GM provided engines for all these different brands and that particular engine just kept on breaking over and over and over. And the media would have a field day. They'd be like, oh, look at this. This one engine from GM, it keeps on breaking over and over. They never mentioned this stuff about LG Chem and their faulty batteries. And for some reason, General Motors... Uh, they're stuck with the, the bill, basically. Massive bill. And GM, I think, are kind of going, well, this sucks. What they've been doing is, first of all, they shut down production of the facility that makes these cars, the Bolt EUV and the Bolt EV, for eight months. And they paid their staff 70% of their normal wages for eight months to just sit at home and do nothing or get another job and make more money and um, basically get paid by GM at the same time. So this cost General Motors probably, I would say, in excess of $2 billion US dollars, probably more in terms of a reputation hit as well. And Bolt, the thing is here, General Motors, though, they have made this bizarre decision, in my opinion, it's bizarre, to now tell owners who have been waiting for a battery replacement, actually, when we may or may not do it. Now, I should mention, first of all, General Motors has claimed they never said they guaranteed battery replacement as stated uh, by the media. Uh, I'm pretty sure the media basically created that headline. GM never refuted it. Uh, therefore, owners all thought they were getting them replaced, whether they heard from General Motors or not. So General Motors, if they're now trying to claim, no, 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 we didn't tell them they were getting their batteries replaced, they probably should have told owners, uh, no, no, guys, there's been thousands of headlines saying all your batteries will be replaced because they're all faulty and they all could burn you to death. No, seriously, they could start a fire. Uh, but um, these claims by the media are false. We're not going to recall all the batteries. That's the challenge here. I don't think they did that, which is what is what makes this all very strange. Here's what GM said. We've always stated that we will replace defective modules, which this new software update helps us to do. So basically, GM have found a way where they can cut their costs massively by simply changing some software. Owners of 2020 to 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EV and EUV models are getting angry on social media, which is fair, after GM informed them that not all vehicles included in the recall qualify for high voltage battery and battery modules replacement. Now, the thing is customers thought, hey, this new battery is better. GM has kind of advertised it that way. So they thought, sweet, we're gonna get a new battery. This is good. Um, you know, it's worth, it's worth the frustration or the concern that something could happen to their batteries. In the meantime, all their houses, or while I say this, it sounds hyperbolic, but the truth is that a GM executive, not GM themselves, but a GM executive said to customers, don't park in your garage, don't park near your house, don't park near anything, park away from everything, because otherwise uh, something could happen, there could be a fire, and therefore this is what you need to do. So a lot of owners were doing that, and I don't know if they've continued to do that or not, or I'm not sure what's been happening there, but it's all a bit, um, a bit crazy. Now, I should mention, this is just for the 2020 to 2022 models. The 2017 to 29 models should all receive a placement battery. Now, I made a video about this a while ago saying that 
only 60% of batteries had been replaced. GM still had a long way to go before replacing them all. And at that point in time, GM never said, uh, yeah, we, we hear what you're saying. I wasn't the only one saying this. Uh, other media were reporting on this. GM never said, oh, hang on a minute, guys. That 60% number is wrong. 60% is not correct because actually we're not going to recall 2020 to 2022 unless we feel like we need to, unless the software in the car says, yes, this one is faulty. But the problem here is that General Motors set a precedent. Here's the precedent they set. They actually recalled the batteries on 2020 to 2022 models on some of them. They just kept doing it, kept doing it until they went, oh, hang on a minute. This is costing a lot of money, taking a lot of time. Maybe there's a better solution to this. Hang on a minute. What about if we just use some software to fix the problem? We think it'll fix it. Let's give that a shot. That's what General Motors have done. So owners are saying, hang on a minute, my, my mate George down the street, he had his battery pack replaced in his 2021 model or his 2022 model, and you're not going to replace mine. That's bullshit. So, you know, I understand where these people are coming from. I'm not saying GM are doing the wrong thing. I'm saying they're communicating in a way that is ridiculous. So a number of Chevy Bolt EV and EUV owners have said on social media that GM told them that it tested the removed batteries on 2020 to 2022 bolts and found they were not to be defective, so they don't need to be replaced. Someone said, I got a call from Chevrolet Concierge telling me that GM has come up with a software fix instead of replacing the main battery on the 2020 to 22 bolts. They will install software and that puts the vehicle back to allowing 100% charging. So as you can see, they haven't been able to charge to 100% because of this issue. So they've had to wait for quite a while to um, get this solution so they could charge to 100%. Apparently this software now monitors the car to see if there are any defects in the battery pack. Once it passes these tests, they will remove the safety recall on your vehicle. I made an appointment with my dealer to get this software installed next week. They told me that GM tested the removed batteries on 2020 to 2022 bolts and found that most were not found to be defective. So they did not be, need to be replaced. Most were not found to be defective. That's curious. I don't understand. Why is it the some are and some aren't? What's the difference? Now, the owner went on. GM will provide owners of certain 2020 to 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EV and EUVs covered under a previously announced recall a new advanced diagnostic software. The software will continually monitor the battery to detect any potential anomalies. And if none are detected after approximately 6,200 miles of use, the battery will automatically return to 100% state of charge without a return trip to the dealer. So you're being a test dummy here. If if nothing happens after 6,000 miles and it goes all right, they'll let you charge the battery at 100%. The software is free and will need to be installed by their dealer via a brief service appointment. Owners of certain 2020 to 2022 model year Bolt EV and EUVs can start to schedule installation at their dealers after the 15th of June. It's free. Oh my goodness, General Motors, I feel so lucky that you've given me some free software. Could that be the response of some owners here? Possibly. The fact remains that GM said it would replace defective battery modules on all bolts. Well, at least it basically alluded to this. And GM are claiming, no, 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 we didn't say that. But yeah, you pretty much well as did publicly your media statements basically were that to that effect there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of media articles basically saying this and general motors never refuted any of this so they pretty they pretty much did say this i'm surprised that they're retracting this now trying to claim that they didn't inside av says that on the bolt ev recall page on gm's website they say that based on manufacturing and diagnostic information Certain 2020 to 2022 Bolt EV and EUVs are not eligible for the advanced diagnostic software. These vehicles will have their lithium iron battery modules replaced with new ones out of an abundance of caution. GM says it will notify customers when replacement parts are ready. As you can see, this has been dragging on now for many years. I'm not sure when the end is coming for some of these owners, but I did sort of feel like, hey, at least you guys are going to get a new battery pack. That's what I said publicly a few times. In fact, privately, people have emailed me. I've said that as well. Hey, yeah, it sucks, but at least you'll get a new battery pack. Turns out, well, that wasn't to be correct for many of them. But I don't know if that's you or not, because GM doesn't know if that's you or not either. 
So I guess you'll find out at some point in the future if you'll get a new battery pack or if you'll get some service or if you'll get a change to your software, which will tell you after 6,000 miles whether your guinea pig trial is over and you can start using your battery as it's meant to be used. So GM's saying that at that point, right, when you get to the 6,000 miles, you can charge you 100%, but you need to monitor the vehicle or they will monitor it for anomalies. Obviously, this is a stopgap. This isn't necessarily going to fix the issue because the problem is that blind pack monitoring can't detect a cell in a pack that's about to fall into thermal runaway. So this is really just GM saying, well, this is taking forever. It's costing us so much money. Let's just see if, let's, let's see if this works. Let's have a stab. Owners, you'll just have to suffer. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.